Okay, before I start this video, I gotta show you something really funny. Check this out, guys. Um, so this customer actually gave me this fan. Uh, I was doing electrical work for a little while, and so my sister asked me, uh, she's always wanted a fan in this room, so I mounted it, and then I realized that, um, well, the customer gave me the fan, I forgot to save the blade screws. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just never fails on some sort of big project or like long hike or whatever. There's always going to be something that does not get done before you go. So this is a nice um, standing testament um, to the thing on the to-do list that did not quite get done. But it's throwing plenty of light down here, so it's got a purpose. Let's go through all the gear that I'm going to be taking. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm kind of looking at this and going like, holy crap, I'm bringing a lot of stuff with me. But it's all spread out, so we'll go through it real quick. This is my Enlightened Equipment quilt. It's a 20 degree, custom made, um, 950 down quilt. Um, so it's it's 950 fill power. It's awesome. This was, I, I won a writing contest a couple years ago and I got a $500 prize. Uh, so most of that $500 went to this quilt, and I ordered it with the black fabric so that it'll dry out really fast if I turn it inside out. Um, just bought an inflatable uh, Aeros pillow. I'm going to give that a shot. Seems a little bit more comfortable than just stuffing a stuff sack every night and using that as a pillow. Uh, my venerable Neoware x Lite. I absolutely love this pad. I've had it for four years now including um, 133 days on the AT and winter camping, um, slept on the snow. I love this pad. New this year, I'm taking this Gossamer gear, um, eighth inch thin light pad out, kind of doubling as a, uh, a butt pad. Um, and uh, also as kind of a secondary sleeping pad. So taking that with, it's only a couple ounces and um, that'll kind of hang out on the outside of my backpack and that's where I'll like, I'll use that as my main butt pad. If you don't know what a butt pad is, um, you probably haven't hiked in the southeast enough. Um, it's basically just a nice little dry patch for when it's constantly raining and wet outside. This is uh, all my clothing packed down, gossamer gear, clear pack liner bag. Shaves a little bit of weight over a dry bag, so I'm going to try that out and see how it goes. Um, cook kit, I've got my um, titanium mug. I like to drink tea and coffee, so this is a pretty opulent um, cook setup for a through hiker I realize, but these are things like, I actually bought this on trail last time. Um, so I've got a Tokes titanium 900 milliliter pot. Um, Love this thing. Um, homemade cat food can stove. It's going on its like sixth or seventh year of use. Um, chopped down bamboo toothbrush. Uh, toothpaste. Couldn't find any good like toms or anything, but found that. And then some, uh, just some Dr. Bronner's. A little bit goes a long way. Um, titanium windscreen for the stove. Pretty handy. Um, it's just uh, aluminum Cedar Summit long spoon with uh, some reflective cord because uh, these get lost real easily. Uh, electronics bag, we went through that in another video. Um, getting over here, all of my first aid stuff's in here. Um, these are just silicone um, earplugs. Picked that tip up from one of Tim Ferriss's videos on travel. They're great because you can actually side sleep with these in, so those come in handy sometimes. Contact case, uh, extra pair of lenses, uh, Aquamira to purify my water. In case you guys are wondering what Aquamira looks like, I refer to that a lot. Uh, two brand new Trekkie, uh, Lecky trekking poles. And uh, I had cork lights the last time I went out. I lost one uh, about last year in Linville Gorge, and I was trying to just buy one single Lecky. And I actually found these online on Amazon for the same price that Lucky was going to charge me for one of the 2016 cork lights. And these are a little bit nicer, so I just bought the pair. Had them shipped in from Great Britain for $75. So that's the deal of the day on this thing. Um, water storage, smart water bottle, and um, one liter Powerade bottle. Probably remove the label before I go. 
Um, here's my logic on that. Water sources. Um, I like different size bottles so I can have different, so I can access different size water sources. Um, the Gatorade bottles are really great if you roll into a restaurant or you're going through town. Um, they fit in public restroom um, sinks really, really easily. And the same thing on trail, like some water sources, you can fit this bottle in and, and get a good fill. Sometimes the wider squat bottle is better, so I like options. Um, and this is just a 64 ounce Sawyer Squeeze pouch. So two liters of water. Sometimes I'll fill that thing up if the water source is down on like a huge ass hill or I just, um, it's far away. I like to have two liters filtering um, overnight uh, with Aquamira. So I just have a lot of water to roll out with in the morning. Um, food bag, I need to go through there and make sure I do have enough food for like four days. But um, it's an OPSAC, uh, odor proof bag. And so that's pretty sweet. I've been using those lately and I really like them just because they keep your food in a really thin form factor when it's in your pack. So like you shove all that down your pack real close to your back. Um, and it just keeps all the weight really close to your back. Whereas a typical dry bag will just like, it'll open up and um, it's less comfortable on your back. Um, that's going into this Mountain Laurel Designs. Cuban fiber food bag, so that's the bag that'll actually be like hoisting up into trees and stuff. Um, yeah, even with the odor proof bags, um, I don't sleep with my food typically. Um, whatever, it's not really a bear thing, it's a um, mouse ate two days worth of food thing, and their saliva is just nasty, and I just don't want to go through that again. Um, over here, I've got my bear bag line, bought this from Yama Mountain Gear, great, great company. Um, it's just uh, Arborist throw line. It's amp steel. This stuff is 1,000 pound tensile. <laughs> it's nuts. I absolutely love that. Um, Deuce of Spades trowel and a bunch of assortment of groundhog stakes. I use a tarp down pro trail and you really need groundhogs to pitch it properly. A um, couple carabiners on there too for the rear lines on the pro trail. Um, this is a steak bag that I got from a hiker box up in Connecticut last time I was on the AT. Um, some guidebook pages with my trail name on them. Got, uh, some hand sanitizer, which I need to fill this bag with toilet paper. That would really suck to forget to do that. Make a mental note. Alright. My tent. I never put my tent in a bag. I just shove it down on the bottom of my pack and keep it loose. It packs down better that way. Um, and here's my pack. It's a Hyper Light Mountain Gear uh, 2400 Southwest. I really hope everything will fit in here. We will see. Um, a central item, my loofah. Uh, I bought a loofah like in Damascus last time I hiked, and I don't hike without a loofah anymore. Because when you get in, you get like the rare opportunity to get a shower. I like to get really clean, and I felt that I really had to like scrub the mud off my legs. Um, just some really, actually really heavy uh, sunscreen back there. But yeah, it's a Hyperlite. I really like it. I can do a whole video on this pack, and I probably should someday. Um, but it's Cuban fiber. It's waterproof. It's awesome. It's super comfortable. Removable frame. Um, gigantic hip belt pockets. And it's got... Uh, I added this on, it's Mountain Laurel Designs, pa little pouch for food. Camera pouch, which I don't really like, I might ditch that, I don't know. And that's where my bandana lives. Um, down here it's like cliff bars, and that's where my headlamp typically lives. Uh, and these are just, you know, worn, worn weight, worn clothing. Um, TE hat, some uh, sunglasses, my Ultras been heavily debating whether to take these out and just blow them out over the next probably 200 miles maybe that I've got in them or roll out with one of the two brand new pairs that I've got. I haven't made that decision. Gators and my shirt. My running shorts are in the dryer right now. So yeah, that's like everything guys. I'm in that like it's 11 o'clock and I'm going on a six month hike and holy crap. Kind of mode. 
right now. Oh, there's my hoodie. It's drying. So the room is a disaster. Oh my god. That fan just cracks me up. I love it. Anyways, that's it for that, guys. Take care. Oh, I should mention, one thing I'm trying to do is have a box of, like, things that I might need. So, like, this is a huge pack liner bag. So if that plastic one, the Gossamer Gear one, doesn't work out. I've got, like, an extra base layer in here and a, a nice button-down shirt um, for hiking in the, the summer. Some, like, mashed potatoes and extra food stuff. Um, my sister is kind enough to, like, ship stuff to me, so I want to kind of, like, consolidate anything that I might need out there. Everything else I can pretty much source on trail. No big deal. So cool. Thanks for listen, letting, ah, listening to me ramble, guys. Yeah, can you tell? I'm, like, totally fried. Have a good night.